Hey, what's up Guitar Fam? If you're having difficulty trying to navigate the fretboard and get from one end to the other and be able to play kind of whatever you want, whatever you hear in any place of the neck, the best place to start is where we all start, which is our minor pentatonic scale. That's like the first thing we learn. But the problem is, is most people only learn it in the first position. I'm going to show you all five positions and a quick little exercise for you to help memorize those shapes. And that way, whenever you're playing in a minor or a major key, you can use any of these five shapes and it's going to sound awesome. So without further ado, let's get started. Now if you're familiar with all five shapes, you can go ahead and skip straight to the end if you want. The timestamp is in the description and you can just run over the exercise. But I would recommend going through all five positions uh, as a review, you know, with the video. And that way, they're fresh in your mind when you get to the exercise. Some of this might be a review for some of you guys. Some of this might be new. Uh, there's no telling. But, you know, you just make a video, and hopefully it helps people. So, anyways, here's the first position that I think most of us know. We're going to do all of this. We'll do this all in the key of G, because why not? So I know I said the key of G, but I really meant the key of G minor, because this is uh, the minor pentatonic in its minor context. So let's get started. This is the first position. It's the first position that we learn. It starts on the E string and it goes up the neck from the root. So starting on the third fret of the E string. <laughs> Next, we actually have what would be the major pentatonic scale, but we're just going to think of it as the second position for now. All right? And that's going to start on the sixth fret of our E string. Pay attention to where the note G is in the shape. That's our tonic. Those are our resolution points. <laughs> Up next is our third position, and this will start on the 8th fret of the E string. Again, pay attention to where the note G is in the shape. Up next is the 4th position, which starts on the 10th fret. And finally, we have the 5th position, which starts on the 13th fret. Now, if we were to go an octave down, we would start this on the 1st fret. And that's something to pay attention to. But we'll go ahead and play it here on the 13th fret, and this is what it looks like. So now that we've reviewed all five positions of the pentatonic scale, I'm going to show you a very simple exercise to basically go up a position, slide, come down a position, slide, go up the next one, slide, come down, and so forth until you just run out of fret. And you can do this uh, by making any note here the tonic. Okay, you can change keys, you can do whatever. This should really help you out uh, starting to just feel more freedom moving around on the neck. So. Here's the exercise, I hope you enjoy, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe.